gastrinoma gastrinoma very good triangle of pasaro triangle of pasaro you will find what gastrinoma insulinoma gastrinoma gastrinoma and one point regarding insulinoma is important we have insulinoma the patient will have high levels of insulin in the body insulin secreting tumor high levels of insulin so what will happen is he will have repeated episodes of hyperglycemia or hypoglycemia hypoglycemia ah, hypoglycemia so hypoglycemia okay so you have repeated Hypo episode of hypoglycemia so in insulinoma there are two points for you to remember insulinoma two points one is the patient will present with whipple triad not whipple surgery it is whipple triad so the patient will have episode of hypoglycemia if you give glucose he will be alright again he will have this repeated episodes repeated episodes of hypoglycemia that is whipple triad one and second is the diagnosis is 72 hour glucose tolerance test glucose test 72 hour glucose test that is the test to identify this patient 72 hour glucose test okay so these two are the important points just remember this insulinoma thanks no, sir sorry can you repeat the second point in yeah. i'll just show it to you see insulinoma we are talking it has whipple triad symptoms of hypoglycemia low glucose and relief of symptoms with glucose administration okay this is whipple triad and the diagnostic test is 72 hour glucose test 72 hour glucose test okay yes okay so it's normally so we do 20, 24 hours right it is 3 days 72 hours and now we will move on to the last topic so this is the biliary tree or the gall bladder last topic so somebody was when we were discussing para pasaro triangle you are telling collapsed triangle right so see here this is the gall bladder what is this common bile duct cystic duct sorry cystic duct yeah what is this uh, left right right, right. Right. Common bile. This is common bile. Common bile. This is common bile. Okay. Common bile. So see here. See, look carefully. So gallbladder triangle is bounded by the cystic artery. Cystic artery, cystic duct, and the common hepatic duct. Okay. This so three will. So my mic is on. So so your voice is not audible. Yeah, I'll re repeat it again. Please unmute yourself. I'll repeat it again. See, gallant triangle is nothing but it is a small anatomical triangle bounded by cystic artery above cystic duct, cystic duct, and the common bile duct (CBD). Sorry, CHD, common hepatic duct. Okay, this area is known as Callot triangle, and the two sides are same. Cystic duct is same, common hepatic duct is same. But if it is not cystic artery, if it is the base of the liver, if it is the liver, then it is known as hepatocystic triangle. Hepatocystic name itself is saying hepatocystic triangle. Okay, clear. clear not clear for sir hepatocystic okay see there are this is liver here liver cystic duct common hepatic duct this is hepatocystic triangle okay and if there is in, in between if there is an artery coming this is cystic artery if we take this triangle then it is known as cystic artery cystic duct and common hepatic duct this is callot triangle now we got it Yeah, this is fine, sir. Yes, sir. Just that hepatocystic yes, part of it, which is a little yeah, confusing. hepatocystic, nothing else. You see, there is a cystic duct, there is cystic hepatic duct, and there is just the liver here. The base of the liver will form the one edge. All right, sir. Okay, got it. Okay, so now tell me what is the constituent of hepatocystic triangle? 
what is the constituent of hepatic cystic triangle base of liver no 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 constituent means it is no, i am not asking the boundaries i am asking what is there inside the hepatic cystic triangle uh, left hepatic. right hepatic right hepatic duct and one more important yeah. So artery right is okay but artery. i'm interested in something right like. hepatic artery. artery no cystic artery cystic artery very good so see the cystic artery is there right here in between so that is the constituent of hepatocystic triangle okay okay sir you got it right there is a big triangle yes sir and yeah yeah got it sir is coming and it is dividing into a smaller triangle so i am asking what is the constituent of big triangle so the in between what is going it is a cystic artery so to identify the cystic artery we have to explore the hepatocystic triangle that is what is the point i wanted okay yes and, and if any this point if, if anybody can tell me what is the constituent of calotte triangle the small triangle there is a small constituent here can anybody tell me we don't discuss it till now there is a small triangle here right there is a small thing located which is small lymph node located can anybody tell what is that lymph node lymph node of lund l u n d lund lymph node of lund okay so hepatocystic triangle the constituent is cystic artery calot triangle the constituent is the lymph node okay yes no yes sir so guys summarize it just once once again just for like a quick review yeah i'll tell you one i'll just clear it off one so we are basically dealing with two triangles in the base of the liver two triangles one is cystic artery is here cystic duct is here the common hepatic duct is here okay and liver base is here so this is known as hepatocystic triangle in between the hepatocystic triangle comes the cystic artery the cystic artery is going in this way so what is the constituent of hepatocystic triangle it is the cystic artery clear this point is clear and now i am telling there is another triangle which we can form with the cystic artery as the base cystic artery common hepatic duct and cystic duct this is another triangle this triangle is known as calotte's triangle and there is a lymph node inside this is a lymph node of lund so this is the calotte's triangle okay okay sir okay now we'll move on to the gallstones so kidney stones most of them are radio opaque or radio lucent radio opaque they are radio opaque here they are radio lucent most of the stones are radio lucent okay they are not visible on x ray so there are various types of gallstones like cholesterol stones pigment stones mixed stones and this mixed stones is the most common thing in gallstones mixed stones are the most common finding mixed stones okay 90% are radio lucent only 10% are radio opaque so x ray will not be so much of useful for us okay because only 10% are radio opaque x ray are sir not useful so what we do is we do an ultrasound investigation of choice is do an ultrasound okay okay sir okay and here this is the mercedes benz sign in ct scan if you see properly you can see this mercedes benz sign the stones will appear like this inverted mercedes benz sign okay, if you can zoom it see here yes, see here sir. okay yeah so inverted benz sign is in ct scan so when to operate a patient is having gallstones so when to operate a patient with gallstones any size will operate yes no no only after it reaches a certain size it, yeah. it has to be big right more than 2 cm if the more stone is more than 2 cm even now people operate for more than 1 cm actually but the exact indication is more than 2 cm or if there are any polyps inside the gallbladder if any polyp is there it is an indication for surgery multiple stones indication for surgery diabetes indication for surgery bariatric surgery indication for surgery these are all the indications for surgery and what is this finding here this x ray what is there 
the walls of gallbladder is distended. yeah the walls of gallbladder are distended no actually can you see a gallbladder on the it's a soft tissue right can you see the gallbladder it's a on calcification the, on the yeah, it's a calcification very good it's a calcified calcified gallbladder calcified gallbladder this is known as porcelain gallbladder this is known as porcelain gallbladder whenever you see a porcelain gallbladder you have to do a lab poly because this is pre malignant okay okay sir and now infection of the gallbladder acute cholecystitis what are the so, clinical features bariatric yeah. surgery is an indication yeah it's an indication why uh, uh no no i yeah. i haven't out with okay why is it so is see yesterday i told you bariatric surgery there is a different there are two types restrictive and malabsorptive yes already the patient if he is going to malabsorption there is high chance that he will develop stones in the future okay because stones are mainly formed due to malabsorption and if, yes, in, if you are making the patient malabsorb malabsorptive that means you are making the patient he will go into development of gall stones because there will be sluggishness of of uh, movement of bile juice and all so it is always better to do gallbladder cystic lap cholecystectomy at the same time because otherwise he will get a, another surgery unnecessarily okay okay sir so basically if the patient has undergone bariatric surgery he would yeah. probably develop the gallbladder at the same time yes okay then acute cholecystitis what is this acute cholecystitis what is cholecystitis inflammation of bile duct yeah inflammation of the gallbladder gallbladder gall so the clinical feature is the patient will have right upper quadrant pain fever and there will be murphy sign what is murphy sign is the patient if you ask him to take a deep inspiration if you ask him to take a deep inspiration because of the location of the gallbladder here the patient will have pain on on the deep inspiration if he takes a deep inspiration he will have pain there okay so that okay. is murphy sign and investigation of choice is ultrasound just a simple ultrasound is the investigation of choice if they ask you gold standard investigation then it is a hida scan gold standard hida scan is nothing but it is just giving a contrast and looking for any inflammation just giving a isotope radio isotope and looking the, for the any inflammation with the help of a gamma camera so only four points for acute cholecystitis one is the patient will present with right upper quadrant pain there will be murphy sign positive that is if it takes deep inspiration there will be pain there murphy sign will be positive and investigation of choice here is ultrasound okay and gold standard investigation is hida scan this is a hida scan okay what is this hida scan see in normally in a normal patient the tracer is, will go into the gallbladder common bile duct it will go into the small, small bowel but if it is the gallbladder is inflamed as in case of cholecystitis the gallbladder is not taking the contrast this is the investigation of, this is the gold standard investigation gold standard are only to study we, are, we will not do gold standard investigation regularly we will do the investigation of choice only okay yeah management what is the management acute cholecystitis management apis treatment gallbladder is acutely inflamed so what you will do drug treatment yeah. drug yeah inflame inflame infection is there you give some drugs medical management okay so give iv antibiotics pain is not subsiding so isn't it an emergency procedure it has to be run right away right gallbladder e cholecystectomy no it's not an emergency okay sir we can wait with we can give some medicines and we can wait and doing an emergency surgery that is when the patient is having inflammation which we it will be counterproductive okay we will not get the planes pro properly we will give some antibiotics we will wait till the inflammation completely subsides it's not like appendicitis okay counterproductive with respect to what sir see if there is inflammation and if we go on if you do if you want to do a, a suppose if you want to do a lap cholecystectomy when there is acute cholecystitis okay we may damage the duodenum we may damage the bile ducts okay okay sir see if there is inflammation you will not be able to see the planes properly right Once you go inside you will not be able to see anything because of the inflammation so we will always wait for the inflammation to subside okay we will wait at least for 6 weeks 
that is a time interval six weeks we will wait and then we will do a cholecystectomy that is what there is the next slide see emergency cholecystectomy and elective cholecystectomy we will always like to do a elective cholecystectomy that is if the patient comes with acute gallbladder that is gallbladder infection or inflammation we will give antibiotics we will rule out the culprit agent if there is any stone we will give some medicines to that and then after six weeks once the inflammation will settle then only we will do a cholecystectomy okay okay sir thank you and a calculus cholecystitis the name itself is telling a calculus cholecystitis is there is no sense of calculus no stone but there will be only gallbladder inf infection and inflammation okay so this is seen in old people who are on tpn what is this tpn total parenteral nutrition total parenteral nutrition okay only few points a calculus cholecystitis old it is a disease of old it is seen in people with tpn there is no stone in it okay and emphysematous cholecystitis what is this emphysematous cholecystitis emphysema yes, what is the meaning of emphysema air filling sorry gas filled air filled lineage gas filled emphysema is gas filled so the organism is clostridium clostridium will be the organism causative organism and cct is the investigation of choice here okay okay sir yeah